Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day today. In this video I'm going to be talking about my uh, process of making this piece that I'm showing on screen now. Uh, but before we get into the painting side of things, I'm going to show you how I go from drawing digitally to then transferring my designs onto paper. So going back to uh, the video I made yesterday on creating clean lines in Procreate, um, I pretty much started the same thing. I drew out a quick sketch of what I wanted to do with the characters and then in a new layer I simply added the clean line work over the top. So when I was filming this last month, I completely forgot to uh, record my transferring process from the digital side to the actual paper that I'm working on. So here's a little tutorial on how I transfer my drawings. So to start off, once I got the line work complete, I simply print it off onto paper. Now that it's printed out, I flip it round and then I get my pencil and start drawing over the lines that I have made. Then I get my actual piece of paper that I'm going to work on. You can This can be a canvas, this can, this can be anything, any surface you're working on. Uh, but in this case I'm working on paper. Um, and then I line it up, make sure it's in the same position as, as I put it in at first and start drawing over the top of the, the lines. This will leave an imprint of every line that I've made and all I need to do is just trace over it. So as an artist growing up, I feel like there was a little stigma. Well, there is a stigma attached to uh, tracing in your work, but I feel because I've drawn the drawing digitally all my, by myself, I you know, tracing's a, a tool for artists to just speed up the process. So anything to make it more efficient would be more than welcome in my work. I think it's a useful way of speeding up the process and you should never be worried that you're doing something wrong because you're tracing. I recently came across the Tombow brush pen and I once I saw it, I had to get it and I've been using it to do the initial line work on all my paper pieces. And on screen now you're seeing me use it. You can see I'm not too fussed about getting the lines right. You know, I'm making a few mistakes going offline and that's fine. In the next stage, we're gonna paint over the whole thing. We're gonna redo the line work. This way I found it, it creates more of a organic feel to the painting if that makes any sense but it I feel it, it, it gives it more character that's what I'm trying to kind of say which is always welcome in my works where I'm, tr I'm trying to play with a bit of character a bit of texture a bit of you know clean lines you know I, got, I, I kind of want to have everything uh, in my paintings I think it's important for artists to take everything they're interested in this especially goes for people who are trying to find their style. I think it's really important for you to focus on what you like in your pieces. What what do you like doing? Simple as that. Like ask yourself that and you, you'll see your confidence grow. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm only going to focus on, like I said, the line work for this one. And in the next video, I'm just going to be focusing on the next step, which is painting. As always, if you have any questions regarding this video, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out in the comments. But other than that, I hope you have a great day ahead of you. And yeah, see you later.